Greetings, Vikings. Thank you for joining us today on this live presentation. I am Belinda Munoz. I'm the advisor for the, for the, the Delaware College uh, Nurse Education Department. And joining me today is Christy Fettis. Christy and I will be uh, presenting today on our new RN to BSN program. It goes without saying that we are so excited about this program, adding this family of programs uh, to our program, especially our nursing department here at Delmar College, but even more so what it is going to do for you in your next career path as you're building your nursing career. So um, what we are going to do, to do today is share a few PowerPoint slides, an overview of uh, information that we have on our website, and then I will go into our website and also point out some uh, information that we have on there, show you where I got some of the information for my slides so that you can go back and view that information as you are preparing your application to submit. Again, this is for our RN to BSN program, our newest program that we are about to kick off this fall, and our application deadline is at the end of this month. It is on April the 30th, so um, we just wanted to come live and share a little bit of information with you and give you an opportunity to ask some last minute questions. So having said that, I'm going to go on ahead and um, flip over here. I am going to share my screen with you all so that I can bring up my PowerPoint slide. And let me get to that. Okay, here we go. Took me a few clicks to get there. Okay, so um, as I mentioned a minute ago, um, this is for the RN to BSN program, Registered Nurse to Bachelors of Science and Nursing program. You must already have your RN license to apply to this program, but for those of you who are joining in that maybe are still working on applying towards our LVN or our RN program, we welcome you as well on this presentation because you will get to see how this could be the next step for you after earning your um, LVN or RN degree here at Del Mar, how you keep working towards getting to the BSN. Um, I send you hellos from our administrative staff from our department, Dr. Evangeline De Leon and Dr. Magua. They are our department chair and our program director. And then as I mentioned, I also have Christy joining me today. Okay, so let's get started looking at some of our um, highlighted information. As I mentioned a minute ago, our application deadline is April the 30th for the fall 2021 class. It's exciting for us. This is um, our inaugural class, our first class that we will be admitting for our BSM program. It is a three semester program. So your commitment to us, if admitted, will be the fall of 2021, the spring of 2022, and into the summer of 22. It would be the long summer session you would attend all summer, so you would actually be graduating the summer of 2022. It is a 30-hour program built into and over those three semesters. So most importantly, who can apply? As I've mentioned already, you must hold your RN license prior to the start of your first semester, so prior to August. And how do you apply? It is a two-fold application process. The first one is that you must submit your application on Apply Texas, applytexas.org, and um, complete the application process with Del Mar College. If you've attended here before and perhaps have attended another school since you've attended Del Mar, then you would have to submit um, transcripts uh, of any coursework that you've done beyond the time that you've been here prior to um, the current date. If you're completely new to Del Mar, go on ahead and submit your application to us. Submit uh, all of your academic transcripts and that will take care of your application process with the college. Then we also have a third party online application called uh, on a program that we use called Nursing Cast. That email, that web address is nursingcast.org. And we are going to talk a little bit more in depth about nursing CAS here in a few minutes. You must have earned your ADN, which is an associate degree in nursing or a diploma in nursing. What we will require in your background is a cumulative GPA 
of a 2.5 in a certain block of courses. And uh, I believe on my next slide, I will be covering those courses. So again, a 2.5 GPA, some of them uh, on that list do require a C or better. So to recap, submit your application on Applied Texas, submit your full application to us directly on nursingcast.org. You must hold your RN license, you must have your ADN degree, and then you must meet our GPA requirements. Okay, getting into our courses that we require in detail. If you look here on the left-hand side, that is the list that shows the courses that we require with a grade of a minimum C or better. And I will go through these so that we're clear about what it is that we are requiring. It's anatomy and physiology one and two, biology 24 one and two, English 1301, your basic freshman English composition course, psychology 2301, which is general psychology, a speech core elective. We are specifically looking for 1311, 1315 or 1321. Philosophy 2306, which is Introduction to Ethics, Chemistry 1406, and Biology 2420. You'll notice that all of those courses there have an asterisk. And again, that denotes that with those courses, we do require a C or better. I'll go into a little bit further information on a couple of these science courses because these, these questions come our way quite frequently. Belinda, what if I have a like a chemistry 1407 or a number that's higher than 1406. We can accept a class that's a number higher than 1406. We are looking for a chemistry, basic chemistry course that, that is lecture and lab. Same goes for uh, microbiology, biology 2420. We do have some students that have taken 2421. We will accept, again, a higher level numbered course so long as it is um, at least equivalent to what the, the basic microbiology class is. Okay, continuing on with the lower division courses on the right hand column, English 1302, Math 1342, which is Statistics, Psychology 2314, which is Lifespan Growth and Development, Government 2305 and 6, which is American Government and State Government, History 1301 and 2, and a Creative Arts Core Elective. You can contact me if you're not sure if you have that Creative Arts requirement. Um, we are going by what is on the core, so there's uh, quite a bit of options that you have to fulfill that. So all of these courses combined must equal out to a 2.5 or higher. The courses on the left-hand side specifically must be a minimum of AC or better. One more course to um, cover. Uh, on the free electives portion of the BSN degree plan, we are looking for HPRS 2201, which is pathophysiology. It is a two hour course. And um, you can have the two hours, if you don't have pathophysiology, you can fulfill that through Education 1100 and Kinesiology. 1164, Introduction to Fitness and Wellness. So those are the courses that you must have in your background. Um, I know because this is a Facebook presentation, you can play it back, and we also have all of this information on our website. On this slide here, we are showing you how we will uh, rank your application based on our point system. The first part of, of the calculation is your nursing uh, program GPA. So off of your ADN, wherever your GPA comes out to on the scale is the amount of points that you would that you would be given for your ADN GPA. And then on the individual grade points, we are giving you points based on the grade that you have. So an A is worth more worth more than a B and a C and so on. Okay, remember the left hand side must be a minimum of a C or better, but then we are also giving you points based on what your individual grade was. All of that put together is how we are coming up with the final number that we will rank you on. Some pointers about nursing CAS. 
As I mentioned a while ago, Nursing Cast is a third party online application. It does not share information about you with Del Mar College. It is just that a third party application. It is an online application. So you will not be submitting any paperwork to us directly. Everything is, an on, is uh, on the online application. If you uh, have used Nursing Cast, whether you were a Del Mar student before or if you attended another school and that particular school also used Nursing Cast, you should be able to log into your previous account. And like you know, most other programs, you should be able to try to recover your username and your password if you don't remember it, if it's been a while. But you know, Christy does um, advise students that uh, they do not have to create a new uh, nursing cast account. You should be able to use a previous one that you had and then you can go in and update your information. It goes without saying to read and follow all of the instructions. They do have a help center, they do have tutorials, they do have little how-to videos uh, that are most helpful. They are probably more helpful than I am on that end. I can answer some general questions but um, we tell the nursing cast company what it is that we are looking for on the application, but we don't necessarily design the application. And so that's why, depending on the kind of questions you have, it's, it may be better for you to contact nursing cast directly because some of it might be like the programming side of how they want the information submitted. When you get to your academic um, history portion of that, where you have to enter the coursework that you have in your background, make sure that you're entering all that information as, as it's asking of you, and make sure that you're listing every college and university you've attended, every course you've taken at every college and university, <clears throat> excuse me, whether it pertains to a nursing uh, program or not. Let's say you were a business major in your in a prior career or you were an education major you still have to list all of those classes to make so make sure that you're reading those instructions and following all that information in detail as they want the information presented we have had students that have met qualifications based on what they have on their background but because they did not present the information in the manner that we're requesting it on the application, consequently their, their application doesn't get reviewed. We certainly don't want that to happen to you. I always tell students that you do not want to rush. Our application deadline is April 30th. I certainly wouldn't advise you to wait until the last day, the last minute to submit your application, but you can get pretty close to it. We will not review applications before the 30th. Okay, so a lot of times, you know, I've heard students tell me, well, I think I'll maybe, do I stand a better chance if I apply early on? And the answer is no, because we've, we've got other projects that we're working on right now, um, other things that, that is, um, you know, taking our time as far as our work day. We are helping students that are calling in, emailing in with questions, but we are not going to start looking at the applications and ranking them prior to the 30th. So make sure you take your time, make sure you're reaching out to us if you have questions or you're reaching out to Nursing Cast directly. You must also send transcripts from every college and university that you've attended directly to Nursing Cast. Again, remember, Nursing Cast does not share information with Del Mar College. So make sure that you are sending your transcripts because the application process to update your information with our admissions office is a completely separate, separate process than fulfilling all the requirements through nursing CAS. Supporting documentation must be uploaded in the program materials section. For you all, as BSN applicants, that will be a copy of your RN license, your immunization records, and your core performance standards worksheet. There is a, um, there are individual um, like file uploads, I'm not sure what the correct term is for that, in the program materials section where you can upload all of those documents and there's even some extras. So if you need um, some some extra 
uploads, there are plenty of files available on that section for you to upload all of that information. I think I touched up on the selection process um, a bit ago, but you know, I'll go through it again, specifically as it's stated on our website. Students satisfying admission requirements are ranked from highest to lowest based on the total admission points, which is your nursing GPA from your ADN degree and your individual grade points. Students with the highest ranking will be conditionally accepted until all available positions are filled. If a tiebreaker is necessary, ADN graduates from Del Mar College will be given priority admission. Okay, that's posted on our website as well. Okay, a few uh, points that, that Christy and I uh, have kind of brainstormed and, and we'd like for you to consider in addition to what we've already mentioned about uh, nursing CAS and going through that application process. Be careful if um, you are repeating a course because you think you can take a class again and get a higher grade. We will use the most recent grade off of however many attempts you have. So if you've taken, let's say, statistics three times, we are going to use the most recent grade, even, even if it wasn't necessarily the highest. Okay, so be careful with that if you're still thinking about repeating a course. I always tell students, make sure you have nowhere to go but up with that grade because you don't want the reverse to happen. Um, I am happy to tell you no entrance test is required for the BSN program, but again, our main requirement is that you have your RN degree. We are ranking on a point system. I, I just um, touched up on that. Once your nursing CAS application is submitted, there is only certain information that you can go back and update or make adjustments to, and that is your contact information. Say you moved after you submitted your application or you changed a phone number, you can go in and update that kind of information. You can add a document. Um, some things that Christy sees <clears throat> excuse me, on her end, because once you submit the application and the review starts, uh, that is where Christy comes into play, because I'm helping you through the application process, helping you package your application, make sure we're, you're doing things correctly, and then once application deadline passes, then it's, then it's uh, Christy's role to play to review all of your information. And some things that she sees is sometimes, um, she was telling me sometimes a student will upload their vaccination records, but they may upload it backwards and what they uploaded was a blank sheet, not the side that shows the actual information. And so students might catch little errors like that. If that happens to you, that is the kind of a correction that you can go back and make. Uh, you would have to add, add it on one of the other document uploads on there, but that's the kind of information that you can go back and correct is to add an additional document. Or if you uploaded um, a vaccination record and you realize that you forgot the second page of it that showed another important vaccine that we're looking for, those are the kind of things that you can go back and make updates on contact information and additional documents that we might be needing. We are expecting this decisions to go out early summer, and we are anticipating a class of approximately 50 students. We have no history to go on, and that's something that, that's exciting for us to say because, that, like you know, I said, this is our inaugural class. This is our first class. We have no history to go on. We hope we receive many applications, but we have no idea how many applications we will receive. When I advise for the LVN and RN program, I can kind of give you, you know, some ballpark figures based on the trends of the last three or four classes, uh, how many applications we've received and how many students we've admitted. And so it's kind of exciting to say we don't know right now because we don't have that history. This is our first class. So um, what we are projecting and what we are preparing for is the class of about 30 students. Could be a little more, could be a little less, just depending on how many applications we receive. This is what your first semester would look like in the fall. It is going to be built to where you are completing 12 hours a semester, but it will be 
be built into an uh, eight week format in the for uh, the BSN program uh, your first semester starting in the fall you are looking at two classes in the first eight weeks which and I didn't write the specific dates down but um, going off of memory it's late August to about middle of October is your first eight weeks you have finals over that first eight week term then immediately the second eight week term will begin which will take you through the ending of the semester uh, Del Mar does run a traditional 16 week semester so the way the eight week format works is basically we cut that semester in half into a first eight weeks and a second week format that is how the BSN program will be structured this program is built for the working nurse we are taking that into account so it is going to be online hybrid style uh, I don't have data on what your sem second semester will look like but we can you know infer that it will probably follow the same format so again your first eight weeks will be completely online second eight weeks the those are the two courses that you would be taking uh, knowing that you will be required to come onto campus once a week for a two-hour lab so that would be middle of October to uh, finals time frame in December okay so um, here is our contact information and and um, you can reach out to us by telephone by email the RN to BSN at delmar.edu is the general email account for uh, the program B Munoz 20 is my contact email I'm Belinda B Munoz 20 uh, I know we've had students ask well what is the difference uh, from doing a BSN program at Del Mar College versus um, going straight to university so again ours is a transition program it is an RN to BSN transition program um, if you are say a student at Del Mar right now or you're looking at coming to Del Mar but but you want to start off at the community college level um, because some students don't want to go straight to the university or some students just want to maximize options at at that point remember you must have your RN degree to apply to our program so this would be the next step for you after earning your um, your RN degree at Del Mar if you aspire to start off with the LVN we now have a full family of programs where you can start off with the LVN um, certificate, go work, come back, do the LVN to RN program, continue working, do the RN to BSN program. So again, that is exciting for us in that we are able to offer um, a full family of programs that starts with the LVN certificate and goes all the way through the BSN. Okay, um, our website. I do want to cover a couple of uh, pieces of information on our website, and let me show you two ways to get there. If you're used to, like if you're a Del Mar student and you're uh, very familiar with our website, which is delmar.edu uh, slash rn, this is where it takes you. You would then click on pre-nursing students. Down here on the bottom is where you'll see the rn to bsn link. If you want to go directly so you can see where it is you know just off of our nursing website if you want to go directly to the BSN link the web address is delmar.edu slash BSN okay two ways to get there uh, if you scroll to the bottom and you see the uh, about RN to BSN box you click on that quite a bit of information and some of the the snippets that I took for the PowerPoint uh, slides are on here namely like I want to show this part to you admission requirements prior to application there is a lot more detail on here than I covered I just covered the highlights on my slides but for instance um, vaccinations I just said vaccinations re uh, are required on my slides right but I didn't cover which vaccinations because it's so much to share but if you look through here uh, on our website all of this is spelled out for you so please come through here please spend some time reading through this reach out to us if you have questions um, 
over here on our left side under the sample course outline is where you see the entire BSN degree laid out with all of the core, including the free electives, adding on the amount of hours um, of our program to get you to the 90 hours that are required for the BSN degree. So again, all of this um, information is here for you all. I highly recommend that you spend some time reading through this, that you spend some time on nursing CAS. Nursing CAS, guys, is not the kind of application that you can do in a matter of, you know, 15, 20 minutes. It, it, it's going to take you several hours um, to gather your documents and, and put it, uh, you know, package your application um, as it needs to be for us. But, you know, having gone through um, this information, I think we are, um, we, I think we've covered the basics that we wanted to cover with you. Um, I am going to stop sharing my screen there. And I'm going to take Christy's lead here. Um, I think Christy's been fielding some of the questions that are coming through and um, going to turn it over to Christy for a bit as I look through some questions as well. Um, are there, you know, Christy, is there other information maybe that we didn't cover that I um, kind of maybe no, skip over or something? No. Um, this uh, presentation gave you the building blocks of what you need to know to see if you qualify to apply for the BSN. It, or, excuse me, we should call it an RN to BSN, and also um, uh, if you do not qualify yet, what you what you need in order to qualify. Um, we did have a question about the differences between um, Delmar's BSN and TAMU CC. Belinda touched on that. Delmar's is a program where you become a registered nurse first. And after you've become a registered nurse, you do the three last semesters to get your BSN. Uh, AM Corpus Christi is a four year program where you start at the beginning, go all the way through, you get your BSN and your RN at the exact same time. Our program bridges between the RN and the BSN. So uh, uh, students who became RNs can um, go back to school and get the BSN. Um, another question is about having to have a high school diploma. Yes, Mia, this is um, for if you're interested in becoming a nurse, uh, please call our main nursing number, 361-698-2860. Um, you can make an appointment with an advisor mm -hmm. and they can help you on the road to becoming a, becoming a registered nurse, which is the requirement before you can go on to our r and BSN. Christy, um, I just remembered something that I, I did fail to mention when we were um, talking about a list of programs. And let me let me go back to that. Give me a couple. Okay, while you're searching for that, I'm going to touch the last question real okay. quick. Um, the, someone, I guess, came in late and says, what are the requirements to apply for the RN to BSN? This is going. This presentation is going to be. Um, uh, it is being recorded. It's going to be posted on our website. You can use our. Um, go to our delmar.edu forward slash bsn, and we will have this exact this exact presentation posted on our website, so you can go back through and review it. Also, go through the information regarding what. Um, what the requirements are um, is also the same thing for requiring what the prerequisites are. They were listed here in this program and they're actually listed on the screen right now. And then you can go through our website. Also, if you have any individual questions and you're not understanding or you have want a better understanding, please feel free to call our office and you can make an appointment. As far as the cost of the RN to BSN. We can't give you an exact cost because there are book costs, there are fees and other things, but we are 
the program, as far as tuition goes, is going to be based on Del Mar College tuition rates, which community colleges are historically considerably less than universities. Um, we don't want to give a price because we don't know in-state, out-of-state, in-district, but it will be based on Del Mar College, uh, current Del Mar College tuition and fees. I'll interject now as, as Christy's reading through some of those other questions. Uh, and I do apologize, one very important piece that I left out when I was covering the courses that we require for you to have in your background is the fact that you can apply to our program if you are within six hours of completing these courses. So if you are missing about two classes, you can still submit your application uh, by the end of this month. What we do require and uh, is for you to go on ahead and complete those courses. Remember, as I mentioned, uh, you must have them completed before the, sem the semester in which the BSM program starts, which is the fall. Having said that, if you're missing one or two classes, uh, that is all that you can be short to be able to apply, but you must complete those in the summer term. Uh, summer registration did open up a couple of weeks ago, so you are able to register for summer courses already. And um, if you need some assistance on that end of things, if you've never attended Del Mar, but you're missing a history class and you want to take that here at Del Mar, send me a direct email. It's bmunoz20 at delmar.edu. Um, and you know, just let me know what kind of help you're needing. We can get you registered for that class. Again, we do require that you complete those classes before the, the, the fall semester starts. Um, we ask that you go on ahead and register now. You do, remember, have to send your transcripts from every college and university that you've attended. So you want to get registered in those classes that you are lacking before you request for your transcript to be sent from Del Mar to nursing cast so that that course or courses that, you, that you're enrolled in for the summer are showing up on your transcript as in progress courses. And then you also want to list those courses that you're taking in the summer on your nursing CAS application as in progress. Um, that is what um, is gonna help Christy tremendously when she's processing your application and even more so, so that she doesn't put you in a stack of not qualified because you didn't list those in progress in nursing CAS. Okay, so she needs to see those twofold on your transcript from Del Mar showing in progress because you've already pre-registered for it. Uh, remember, you're, you gotta send that out by the end of the month uh, to nursing CAS. And then she needs to see it on your academic history part, on that transcript entry part um, as you're listing your courses of every college and university you've attended. Okay, so again, if you're within six hours, you um, can apply. Another thing that I didn't mention specifically, I know I mentioned Math 1342 statistics. I advise a lot of students that have completed college algebra and we've graduated them with college algebra not having completed statistics. And this is for a lot of students that I advise here at Del Mar, but even if you didn't attend Del Mar and you attended elsewhere, and you have college algebra in your background, but you don't have statistics. Our BSN program and many BSN programs specifically require statistics. So even if you were able to graduate with your academic degree, with your Associate of Arts, with college algebra, and that is the only class you're missing, and if you need more clarification, reach out to me because you would have to complete statistics um, by the fall, so you would have to take it this summer. And remember, there's another class off the free electives, which is pathophysiology. All right, thank you, Belinda. Um, Anything else you want me to share off of this, um, Christy? No, I don't think so. I guess one of the things also is, um, <clears throat> At, um, anything that's in the right column, I'm not sure if it was mentioned, um, anything that's in the right-hand column, you can make a D in it. Uh, 
as under th those general education courses, um, a D would be would be acceptable if as long as your you still meet the GPA requirements, and as long as um, well, I guess it is. Is you have to meet the GPA requirements for it, which means that if you've got a D in one of those courses, you would have to you would want to make um, a B or better in another course, so it brings up your GPA. Um, and then, real quickly, we had another question. Um, the student who is requiring about um, a GPA 2.6 and prior applying, I believe you might be talking about the Associate of Applied Science program. And if that's the case, you should um, uh, send your name and information to the email that you got in um, perhaps a letter or response you got from the department. Um, we can set you up with Ms. Munoz, and she can um, she can assist you with whatever your questions are and what you need to help make make a stronger application for our associates program. But this is our first RNWSN, so I'm um, believing that you might be discussing a different program, not the one that we're currently discussing right now. But um, we're excited about this new program. Um, we hope our, our students are excited. Um, if any of our students that are currently in level four of the nursing program, of our nursing program, are... Um, currently um, watching and listening right now. You are also still eligible to apply if you're in the last semester of nursing um, because you just have to have your license before you would start the program in the fall. Students that are currently finishing their last semester of nursing school and still meet all the general education requirements are still eligible to apply by April the 30th um, and with the requirement that upon graduation you have to take and pass your NCLEX over the summer prior to school starting in the fall. Any student that has a course that's in progress, like Ms. Munoz discussed, the, the six hours that you could still um, take over the summer, we will go back and check those grades and factor those grades into your overall final GPA to make sure you meet the requirements for the program. So if you do take any courses over the summer that are the final hours that you need, do your absolute best in those. And um, if you have absolutely any other questions, please please email our rn to bsn at delmar.edu. We will get you an appointment with Ms. Munoz or even possibly Dr. McWall. She is also doing RN to BSN advising. Um, and as I think that's it for us. That's it for the questions that I have seen. Okay, everyone. So, uh, you know, as, if, as we've mentioned a couple of times, because uh, this is a Facebook Live uh, presentation, of course, if, you've if you're tuned in now and you want to go back and review some of the information, you can play this video back. Um, once uh, the College Relations Department makes the link available to us, we will also have this embedded on our uh, BSN website. Uh, so you'll be able to play it back there as well. I believe it's also available on YouTube. Um, please reach out to me if you have any questions, anything uh, that you need clarification on. Um, like I said, this is our inaugural class, so we are um, excited, it goes without saying we are beyond excited to receive your applications and, and review them and build that first class. My role here is to help you make sure that you're submitting an application with all of the information that we are looking for. Um, so I know this is exciting for you having already earned your RN and, and been working out there. Like I said, this is built for the working nurse. It will be an online hybrid format. So um, please spend the time that you need uh, packaging your application. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Uh, we continue to work remotely, uh, but I am available by phone, by email. We can schedule a uh, phone uh, advising appointment if you need to. I can advise you via Teams if you need 
that face-to-face -face interaction. So again, uh, please submit your application, reach out to us if you have any questions. We look forward to receiving and reviewing your applications. Thank you.